welcome to today's video. Today I'm going to be doing a book haul. I know I've been on for ages, so I thought I'd do one today and show you my big stash of books. Um, in total I have 11 books in total, so I'll just get straight into it. So, ages ago I ordered some books from Book Depository. Four books from Book Depository, so I'll start with those. First day of The Handmaid's Tale by um, Margaret Atwood. I bought this one as a TV series has started, so um, I wanted to read it first before I watched the TV series to get a real feel for the storyline. I did start it, but I haven't really read through it because I've gotten a bit of a slump, so I just left that one. Then next I got um, Release by Patrick Nurse. See the one it has embossed on the front. Today changes everything. Um, I'm halfway through, nearly at the end, and it's a really good book. I'm not going to tell, say too much about it because it does give away the storyline, but um, I'll leave a link in the description so you can read it for yourselves. And then I got Before I Fall by Lauren Oliver. I bought this one again because the film's coming out for it, so I did watch a trailer for the film and it looked really good, so. I wanted to read it first, so I bought the book because I haven't started it yet, so it's one to read. And then last from that sh shop, I bought um, Ocean at the End of the Lane by Neil Gaiman. I'm not too sure what this is about, but I read the synopsis ages ago and it sounded really good, so it was on offer on the depository so I ordered that one as well. So I'm looking forward to reading that. And then the other day I went to Leeds to the Waterstone store and it's three floors, it is huge and I spent like £48 worth on books but I use gift cards so it doesn't really count right. This one, a few of them are YA so, so I've got The Spell Book of the Lost and Found by Moira Fowley Doyle. Um, it's about some kids who find a spell book and stuff goes on I think. Um, I read the synopsis and it sounds really good so again I'll leave all the descriptions uh, I'll leave all the links in the description either so you can read it for yourselves um, it's quite a thick book oh. it's actually, I've just noticed it's set out like um, different characters for each chapter that's interesting so I wonder if it's different perspectives we'll find out when I read it um, next one I picked up, which I spotted, it was in paperback, was Made You Up by Francesca Zappia. I've wanted this for ages. I'm really interested in reading books about different, you know, mental, about mental illnesses. This one's about schizophrenia, I think. So, spotted it in paperback for buy one get, you, buy, buy one, get one half price, so I thought, let's smell that one. Then I picked up Good Me, Bad Me by Ali Land. This one I've spotted for ages. I saw it in the Sainsbury's in High Bath and with the synopsis and it sounded so good. I was gonna buy it but then didn't have it in. So I was like, well, I tried to find it online. I couldn't remember what it was called. And then I spotted it. I think it's come out in paperback. So it looks good. It's about, it's a thriller. It's about a girl. It says, Annie's mother is a serial killer. The only way Annie can make it stop is to hand her into the police. It's a bit more but what really. So that's just sounds from that sentence sounds really good. And then I got um, my cousin, my cousin Rachel by Daphne de Maurier. This one is was recently a film with um, I forgot what her name is in it. She plays in, she plays Rachel, I think. And it's a it's a murder suspense book I think about murder, I'm not too sure, but, but my mum actually recommended it, she said it was really good. And then I got Breakfast at Tiffany's by Truman Capote. This one, Capote either, um, I love the film with Dr. Hepburn in, so I saw it, I saw how tiny it was, so I picked it up as well, I'll probably read that in a day. So. I also picked up Agatha Christie's and then there was none. I just um, watched this on the BBC One when they did an adaptation and it was so good. 
um, I didn't realise how little and cute it is, so um, I picked it up and I thought, oh, it's cute, I'll read it, it's not too long. And I enjoyed the adaptation, so this should be good. The concept is, there's like 10 people in total, and then one by one, they like disappear and get killed. So you have to find out who's doing it, it was really good. And then I was at the till, and she was like, I've got three books for buy one get one half price so jump four so it like makes sense and I was like yeah she said these at the till so I said yeah I'll get one of these and it is one of us is lying by Karen M McManus this is again like a thriller suspense story five students walk into detention only four leave alive it's on every book page I've seen it recommended like five stars so sounds really good so that is all of my books recently that I've bought um, I'll try and keep updated I know I haven't been on for ages been really busy so I um, should hopefully upload a TBR next and share with you guys what I'll be reading alright bye